what's interesting is that nor'easters can have the same strength winds as this hurricane will have. But the difference is there's no leaves on the trees to catch the wind in the winter. So we don't get the massive power outages that we're going to get with this storm. So we'll start with the hurricane warnings. And it's been since 2011 with Hurricane Irene that Long Island's been under a hurricane warning. Same for coastal Connecticut. And I'll repeat, 1985 was the last time that a hurricane made landfall on Long Island. And we have to go all the way to 1991 for areas of New England. So we're going to like do something we haven't done in 20, 30 years in areas of New England and on Long Island. So right now it's barely under hurricane strength. It's safely off the coast of North Carolina. Just some big waves on Saturday for our friends in Virginia and the Outer Banks down to Wilmington. Notice the Hurricane Center brings up to a Category 1. It's not out of the question. It could even make it up to a Category 2. As it approaches southern New England and Long Island, it will begin to weaken a little bit. But the big question is, will it weaken enough to prevent a massive billion-dollar weather disaster. I doubt it. Even with a category low end category one into a heavily foliage area like Connecticut, Massachusetts and Long Island, we're going to have considerable tree damage. Fred went through and dumped a lot of water in this same area, too. So the soil's already loose. Trees are going to fall. Branches are going to snap and power outages are going to be the biggest issue with this storm. And how accurate are we thinking? Well, Frank, we're not completely etched in stone on where this is going. Some of our computer models are eastern Long Island and a few of them or towards New York City. So we'll figure that out tomorrow, but everyone has tomorrow to prepare. Wow, a hurricane hitting New York City. Hard to even imagine that. Bill, we appreciate it.